This shirt, along with many other nerdy shirts, will be on sale for Black Friday weekend, $11.99. Check it out. Pablo Gunner, Loki, season two finale, talk nerdy to me. This one is essentially Groundhog Day. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Because he's learned how to control the time skipping and he's skipping from time to time he's trying to fix everything right like he goes okay well what's the problem he needs to learn this he, lead, he needs to learn that he needs to just go back farther go back farther go back farther go back farther okay well, he needs to stop it where he needs to stop sylvie from killing he who remains he has a chat with he who remains and says like hey i'm control of all of this this was all meant to happen you know i'm i've been playing you this entire time this entire season and you think he might come to the realization that he just has to kill Sylvie to fix all of this. He even goes to her and pretty much tries to get her permission to kill her. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty nuts. What's crazy though is that uh, during a lot of this season, there's moments where he's had the opportunity to step up and he just doesn't want to. He's kind of like a reluctant hero. In the end, he does decide to stand up. He decides to step up. He decides to, I won't say make the ultimate sacrifice but it kind of is in the sense that he is sacrificing his life he's he's not dying for them but he's giving up any selfishness for the good of the entire multiverse all in all it was phenomenal it, it, his he, he does have a throne at the end. It's not the throne he wanted. It's a great conclusion to the entire story that we've had so far, but they still leave it where there could be another season, especially for Ravana and other characters. I feel like he who remains is not done with Loki either. So all in all, it was phenomenal. It was crazy. It was it was epic. It was sad. It was mind blowing. I loved it. Check it out. Talk nerdy to me. And check out all our merch at tntmtheshow.com, the store. 5% of any profit we make, we donate to the American Diabetes Association. So help us help that cause.